How's it going, everybody? It's Ron from LiveCaseBreak.com. We are doing a box of Magic the Gathering Battle Bond for John in the YouTube stream. Booster box. We got 36 packs coming out of this. I like the way they do the display box for this. Uh, so this goes. Let's see. Get this out. And it's so that you can like, you know, share a box with your friend and you guys kind of like open packs. It's perfect for like pack duels. That's how we do it. All right, you got token zombie. This is your common. So the way they did this actually goes rare, then your uncommons, then your commons. Behind the two, so instead of being in the middle, so Goblin Raise Runner is rare for you. And your uncommons are Lay Weaver, Lore Weaver, Long Road Home. I'll just scoot through these, but you'll uh, you'll get these at home. Look through them, see what powers they are. That would be the fun part, going through, reading them. Seeing how many of what you got. Alright, Warrior Token. Then we got a Swamp. And we've got Spire Garden. Rare. <laughs> Read the back of all of them? Yeah, that's easy to do. Magic the Gathering. Uh, Magico El Gathery? Get, I don't know gathering. I don't know magic either. So, Oracle's Insight, Blood Feud, Genesis Chamber are your uncommons. Let me see if there's any uncommons that spike up on the price list here to watch for. That's all Mythic Rare. Chain Lightning, Beast Within, Spell Snare, a couple bucks each. That felt racist. <laughs> Alright, Zombie Giant. You got an island. You got a foil. Corvath Bright Flame. Actually, two foils. Look at you. You got three rares. Bam, son. This is what we do. You got two foil rares and then a base rare in the pack. So Corvette, Bright Flame, Foil. Sylvia, Bright Spear, Foil. Boom. Generous Patron, that's me. Generous Patron, I'm an Elf Advisor. Rare. All right, your uncommons. We're out of bounds. And flame wave invoker. Looks like you only got two in that one, but yeah, those are all rare. the The coloring on these is a lot harder to actually see. That's pretty cool, though. I didn't know you could get multiple hits like that. Forest. We got vigor. Rare. No mythics yet. Kiss of the Am Amisha. Decorated Champion and Slum Reaper are your uncommons. <laughs> You're going to be the most powerful wizard ever. I can see it. Warrior Token, Plains, Regna the Redeemer. And Krav the Unredeemer. I wonder if they're like themed then, because like that seems like they go together. But two rares again. That's pretty cool, because that means 
your rare counts are going to be a lot higher then. Let's see, is Regna on this list? Where are you? Where are you on here? Regna. What? 50 cents. Nimbus Champion. Jelen Sphinx. Tim opened up a pack. Um, we have a box of this open on the shelves. And uh, so he opened a pack and he goes, oh, I got this really cool card. And he sent me a photo. So I go look up and I'm like, it's like 23 cents. Um, and I said it was the Henry Owens of Magic cards. I said, you thought it was good. But then he got a foil. And I was like, oh, okay, it's like the Henry Owens refractor. I said, it's a little bit more, but it's still a Henry Owens. Hand of Silmagar foil. That's a foil common. And then Sentinel Tower is your rare. It all depends on if... Uh, it, it depends on if they're playable in decks. That's really the big thing that drives value, John. So if there's a deck build that like works really well with one of these cards, that card pumps in value because people are looking for them to add to their decks. Your uncommons were Battle Rattle Shaman, Battle Mastery, Relentless Hunter. Well, that's always the driving factor. But that's also why the value sometimes can go up years later. Because all of a sudden a new card comes out that pairs well with a card that's only been produced in a set like from five years ago. Now all of a sudden people are buying up that set. I, I always feel like I feel magic is a good investment. Buy a case, sit on it. Because you're usually paying like about $100 a case. The minimum I've ever seen boxes go down to is 60 So on a crappy set they go down to 60 But eventually there might be a card that pairs well in it. So there you go. You just wait. Wait out, and if not, you're out 40 bucks per box. That is that adds up, but those other boxes were helping you out. Victory chimes. That's what that's what the horn is outside. Those are victory chimes, John. Not the skunk alarm. Swarm of blood flies, opportunity, and rush blade commander for your uncommon. Skunk chat. <laughs> that's if I could when uh probably the beginning of next year, that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm gonna just start buying magic cases again. I enjoy opening magic, I enjoy collecting the sets. So doubling season, mythic. So this is one of the ones we are looking for. So that roughly, like I said, on here. That's about a $35 card. So there you go. You've already got a 30-year box back. Blaring Recruiter, Blaring Captain, Dragon Breath are your uncommons. And, yeah, that's true. That's true. And 50 cents. <laughs> All right. Mirror, Creature... Your planes. This is the one he got. The Mangara of Corindor. So here's your Henry Owens. 26 cents. He just got the foil version. <laughs> Juggernaut. Savage Ventmaw. And Orsco Explorer. <laughs> it looks like a jabroni card. <laughs> I can't get these packs open. I'm going to start opening them just a little bit faster. Let's move your uncommons, your rares. All right, you got a warrior. You got a planes. You got a Nixthalid. He just, he's never seen what they look like. So he wanted to open a pack. He has no clue. Fogbank. Uh, Dinrova Horror Assassin Strike for uncommons. These are not doing too hot for me for opening. Maybe I shouldn't buy cases of it. Um, 
But yeah, I showed them how to look up, like where to look it up, how I get an idea of the values. So I'm schooling them on magic a little bit. But thanks for getting the box, John. This is actually... I haven't opened up Magic in a while, and hopefully it's it's of value to you. I know you play. I don't know how much you build decks, though, versus I just buy pre-made decks for me. I suck at deck building. All right. Finish up this half. We got Zombie. We got Island. You got Per Imaginative Rascal, along with Toothy Imaginary Friend. So double. So yeah. So it looks like you have like themed double rares, which is still cool. Uh, Cheering Fanatic and Spectral Searchlight for your uncommons. We got Warrior, Mountains, we got Wars Toll Rare. Pulse of Mar uh, Marasa, Switcheroo, and Angel of Retribution. You should just keep this one like in like your pocket or something. Like, oh, it's the old Switcheroo. Steal Lauren's food. Warrior Forest, you got Lightning Talons. That's just uh, it's a common but a foil. That looks really cool. You've got Noosecraft Mob for your rare. And you got Impetuous Protege, Proud Mentor, and Culling Dias. For uncommons. Yeah, Spirit Token. Island. That just looks cool. Archon of Valor's Reach. <laughs> it's the old switcheroo. <laughs> I just, I love the art on that. <laughs> Fertilid. Reckless Scholar. And Tenacious Dead. Uncommons. Spirit Token, Swamp, Core, Spirit Dancer, Rare, it's a Core Wizard, Uncommons, we've got Beast Within, Solomon Offering, and Azra Odds Maker, <laughs> Beast, Plains, Seedborn Muse, Rare, Thrasher Brute, Feral Hydra, and Blaze. Uncommons. Your boy Blaze got a card in here. Mirror. Swamp. Your mythic is a Mycansynth Lattice. Is that one up here? That is, that's about a $10 card for you. So there we go. It's adding up. It's adding up. Uncommons are Morbid Curiosity, Spell Snare, and Take Up Arms. Warrior, Mountains. You got a Re Relentless Hunter Foil, Uncommon. And you got a Together Forever Rare. Together forever and I, if, it, if it falls like the rest of the boxes you should have four mythics total coming out of this lava fiend overlord vampire charm seeker and gold forge sentinel for uncommons all right there you go
this is my wheelhouse. So I, I actually was originally brought on for my knowledge of non-sports because I did not watch many sports. But <laughs> sadly, there are really what you need. You need a mythic foil. That's that's what you're looking for for value. But there are some sets have case hits. Um, we saw that with we opened up some of this before. Um, it was called uh, Amon Ket, and at least I think we've only ever seen them in one or two boxes in a case. Um, there were these this special subset, and each of those cards base value was like starting at fifty bucks. So Mythic Foil Otani. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. I don't think Aaron Judge is in this. It might be a redemption. All right. Zombie and Forest. We got Game Plan. Is your rare? Your uncommons is Assassin Strike, Cheering Fanatic, and Bring Down. You got Emblem. That looks like Captain Marvel. Almost. Mountain. And you've got a Jungle Wayfinder. Foil, common, and then you've got a Zurnspit Eye of Wisdom, rare, and then you have an Eye of Chaos. Uncommons, you got Blaze, Switcheroo again. Warrior Planes Stolen Strategy. Uncommons are Take Up Arms, Feral Hydra, and Thrasher Brute. Thrilling Encore. Uncommons are Step Glider. Then Rova Horror and Beast Within. Magnus of Candelabra. Looks like, uh, you ever watch Avatar? The guy that helps him with his chakras. That's your rare. Spell Snare, Spectral Searchlight, Morbid Curiosity, Uncommons. Zombie, Forest, Morphic Pool. There's another $10 one for you, rare. Your Uncommons, Lava Fiend Overlord, Tenacious Dead, and Angel of Retribution. Bonus round. Aim high, enduring scale lord, and fog blank, fog bank. Spear token, swamp, purrs, whim. Your uncommons, impetuous protege, proud mentor, and pulse of Morasa. Archfiend of Despair, Mythic. <laughs> that's, that's roughly, that is on the top list, that's six for that one.
Reckless Scholar, Solomon Offering, and Culling Dias. We're almost done, Ed. And then I got the last two Optic. We've been we've been looking at Lisa that I've been making note of the top like twenty list, basically. So I use uh, there's a site called TCG Player, which has uh, Magic and Magic Pokemon Yu Gi Oh price guides. So it's a great just reference source to start. Get an idea of which ones you're looking for. <laughs> to get a skunk king. Yeah. <laughs> Last of the packs. Here we go. We got a warrior token. Forest. Play of the game. Ron Bazarski, play of the game. That's a rare. Plated Crusher, Tavern Swindler, and Enthralling Victor. Uncommons. Zombie. Island. Last one standing rare. And then you got Unflitching Courage, Quest for the Grave Lord, and Kometra's Favor. Got another emblem. That looks like a... Uh, that almost looks like a blonde uh, Black Widow. We're getting all the Marvel characters here. Apocalypse Hydra. Rare. That looks like Tim. <laughs> uh, uncommons of Soul Blade Corruptor, Soul Blade Renewer, and Peregrine Drake. Warrior Swamp, Sour of Temptation, Sower of Temptation. Swords of the Plowshares, Trumpet Blast, and Fumble. Zombie, Forest, Arena, Rector. That's your Mythic. That is one of the other top Mythics. That's about 15. For you. So I think your Mythics, you did well. Azra Oddsmaker, Hunted Wampus, and Noxious Dragon. Virtus of the Veiled. Rare. Gorm the Great. Legendary Creature. Rare. Veteran Explorer, Loyal Pegasus for your Uncommons. Swarm of the Bloodflies. Refractor, not Refractor, uh, Foil, Bountiful Promenade, yeah, that was one we saw, it's seven for a rare, Phantom Warrior, Jubilant Mascot, Chain Lightning on Commons, Aurora Champion, Foil. Zerbal Judgment is your rare. Inner Demon, the crowd goes wild, and Bloodware Intimidator. Last pack. 
Wafed Hazid Profiteer. Chakram Retriever, Chakram Slinger, and Gang Up. And there you go. John, there is your break. Thanks for getting in. Find more of this, livecasebreak.com. This is Ron, and I'm out.